So, blog, yeah, I just woke up, y'all can tell. Um, it's like noon, though, so, uh, yeah. I need to get a shower and go to lunch, you know. Look at my room, it's a mess. Yeah, it's a mess, <laughs> it's a mess. My room, my computer, wrong way, right there. Yeah, anyways, uh, trying to get some recording done. I'm trying to do some commentary. Uh, no, I'm not going outside, I'm just looking. Um, but yeah. Holy crap, uh, has it been a long week, I guess, or a short week, I'm sorry, it has not been long at all, so I'm just going by fast, and I'm like, come on, I want to go on vacation, you know, I want to go to the beach or somewhere, so, uh, yeah, time's going by fast, I need to clean up this room, seriously, I ain't got nowhere to walk, uh, yeah, that's where I record Call of Duty Ghost at, that little, little TV, and then there's my, uh, computer. I'm getting a new computer, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. My internet has been so slow. So maybe if I get a new... I don't know if you... If, my dad said I'm getting a new computer. I don't know if that means monitor or computer. Or both. <laughs> um, I want both. I want a new computer and a new monitor. The only bad thing about a new computer, I have to... You know, reinstall Roblox. Go back into every single account, and I would lose all my recordings as well, so that would not be good, so. Um, I'd lose all my episodes of Happy Wheels. Uh, maybe if I get a new computer, all those stuff can be transferred onto the new one. Uh, yeah, it'd, it'd actually be pretty good if I lost all those recordings. Because, like, I mean, you want a full screen version, don't you? Yeah. I need a new screen recorder. I don't know which one has no lagginess. Can you please tell me in the comments, you know a screen recorder that has no lagginess to it. I'm trying every single one, and they all have, like, lag. Just lag. I mean, general lag to it. And I'm like, I don't want a screen recorder that lags every five seconds. That's horrible. I mean, who wants to watch that? Nobody. So, like, I'm trying to find a the screen recorder, and I can't find one. I thought Xbox Broadcaster, but so much editing. I mean, it's like an editing network <laughs> for free. I'm like, no, I don't want that, you know? I mean, why would somebody want... I mean, I just want a screen recorder that records the screen. Done. You can upload to YouTube. That's all I want. I don't want somewhere you have to edit every single little touch to it and everything. I mean, that's for later on in the years. I mean, I'm not an editor right at the moment. Uh, if I get a capture card, then I'm, yeah, I'll have to edit things. You know? Of course, but... But right now, I don't... I'm a good editor on YouTube editor, video editor. I'm pretty good at that. I can video edit that. Like, I can edit videos like that. I cannot edit videos where, like, with that type of technology. Because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And then it's saying I gotta get a new version of Adobe. I'm like, no. I was gonna try to use it again and see what had happened, but I was like, forget this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting all this new stuff and all this, you know. So, I'm done with that. Um, my hair's a mess. Yeah, I need to go take a shower. But anyways, um, I got bowling. I got bowling tonight. Yes, that's what I wanted. Um, in about six hours. <laughs> A little bit less than six hours, um, but I really want to do. I want to do some uh, videos today. I want to record today for some reason. I'm like, because I'm gaining subscribers now, and I'm like, if I'm gaining subscribers, I might as well, you know, put up some new content. Call of Duty Ghosts right now, uh, eh, you know, <laughs> it's sort of an iffy. Uh, so I won't be getting a capture card. Hopefully till Christmas. If I get it for Christmas, that'd be nice, you know. Um. Because, you know, I really don't want that much anymore. I'm like, I've got everything. What else could I have, <laughs> you know? Possibly, what else could I have? Uh, I could get some stuff for BWE, of course. You know, like, you know, all that stuff. Masks and everything, like title belts and all. So, that'd be nice. I can get my own custom figure for me. But, yeah. Uh, I don't really want that much. Um, I mean, you know. You know, uh... Before, it was like, toys, yeah, yeah, you know, and I was like, mm, you know, video games. <laughs> it, it switched over. Uh, I don't really play with, like, toys anymore. I, I'm more of, like, video, YouTube, you know, technology person. And 
I think I got those jeans from my dad, because he is always on the computer. Now I am, too. Uh, love watching YouTube. Um, you love that GTA 5. You know you do. Um, but, <laughs> um, it's still June, and I wish it was July already. So, because July is usually when we go on vacation. I'm like, you know, it's it's the 19th today. Ugh, it's, it's the 19th today. I've got, like, two more weeks of this June, I hate June really. Uh, it's the end of school. Yeah, great. July, it's just like Fourth of July, vacation time. August is like where you know, you know, it's about time where you go back to school. July is the month where you're supposed to really take a vacation. That's that's my personal standpoint. Um, trying to make some things for my attire. Um, yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get some stitching done. For our attires for BWE, um, like trunks and all. Yeah, so I don't know how much that's gonna cost out of my wallet. Uh, I just spent 40 bucks on masks from uh, for me. So, yeah, uh, for BWE, I spent 40 bucks on masks. Yeah, two masks, 20 bucks each, 40 bucks out of my wallet. I'm like, oh, you know, it kills me. Uh, but th they're for a new superstar coming in named the Mexican Wolverine. So, yeah. Um, Superstars are leaving, superstars are coming, you know. It's the way the business works, you know. Uh, when you have enough training done, basically, uh, you know, you go on to later on. Like, uh, this is a spoiler, alright. No, I'm not going to tell you no mind. But, like, w we train, we train. And when you're done training, we basically, you know, uh, whenever you're ready to send off, you go on. But, you know, we're in training now. If you watch our matches, you'll see that we train. We we start new maneuvers all the time. Like, you're just like, I've never seen that maneuver before. It's because we're training, training our superstars. Before, in the beginning, we were just like, you know, just like that. And now we got, like, arm drags and everything, you know. Uh, we got clotheslines. We're starting to come backs and everything now. So, I mean, people were telling us to improve our wrestling. That we're not really there to for you guys. We're really there for the wrestlers. We're we're there to like train them, and all. And then when we when they're in their matches, that's like a little bit of a little mini assessment or so, a little bit of test, and see what they've learned. And sometimes you know, uh, lots of times we we do matches and like no like we have to, like there's a mistake in the match and we can't use that match because it's like horrible. Uh, if you, you know, uh, so, yeah, we're a little bit in training right now, and, you know, uh, so yeah, we're learning things, uh, the arm twist, you know, you just, uh, twist your arm, you know, that's pretty good, and then you've got the, you know, wrap around there, and then, you know, uh, we're starting Boston Crab now, everything like that, we're, start, we're trying to work on submissions, uh, <clears throat> A great submission by Blade the other day. We were doing a match. He he uh, had a submission on me. I didn't tap out, but he had a submission on me. It was so perfectly executed. His like his like legs were wrapped around my arm. It was sort of like the yes lock, except his foot was pushing on my head as well. It's like extra pain to me. So I was like, that was perfectly executed, but I got out of it somehow. Like I just I didn't tap out. <laughs> But he won the match, I think. Uh, I don't know. Uh, or I think it was a double count out match. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, this has been so fun, basically. Um, Starship Gaming Channel is, you know, I'm getting lots of subscribers. Hopefully, I can go up to 50. Uh, I'm getting them pretty quick. I've already gained a couple subscribers in, this month. Uh, and, you know, when I return, it's like, you know, subscribers. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, you know, I, you know. But my phone is back now. Uh, I don't want to record the bowling banquet tonight because, you know, I mean, I might if uh, Rashi and them want to. I don't know if he's going to be there. But if you want me to record there, I will. Uh, I'll record there definitely tonight if you want me to. Um, I don't know. What the heck? Oh, it's a chainsaw. I was like, it's like, what the heck is that noise? But yeah, I don't know what to do today. Uh, 
I, I don't want to record any Happy Wheels, and I might do some SmackDown episodes or something, you know, something that general nature. Uh, I don't, what I think I don't, what I think I'm going to do, I, I, I want to, like, restart the whole WWE like I've been doing. I just want to restart it all. But I know that wouldn't be fair to you guys, you know. So, I'm going to try to continue it, and yeah, um, I'm going to try to continue it. Maybe, uh, SmackDown Part 2, I know y'all, I've been saying this, uh, I just gotta upload it, and then edit in the audio. That's all I've gotta do. But, like, I, I, I'm a, I don't know why, why I won't do it. I just, like, I just won't get up and do it, so. Cause, I got, cause I'm uh, doing other things on BWE, and then I got this, you know. I'm thinking of starting my own morning show. Uh, I gotta get a morning show. I mean, it, it was sort of good, you know, I got a couple of likes on them, you know, here and there, but, you know, uh, if I could get, like, something better in the nature, like, I, I want to do something exciting with it, you know, um, so yeah, um, I don't know why, when I could do it, um, it'd be every morning, uh, and I'd probably have to eliminate Social Game Jam. That that's the way it is. I can't do all three at the same time. Uh, I got I, t I guess I just got bored with gotta get morning shows. Like, you know, it's it's not that fun, you know. And then, but if I do, if I do a new morning show, it'll be more exciting. Like I it, it, I'd be going places and showing you things from different places. Um, so yeah. But the, like the screen on this is like so small, <laughs> uh, so small for this daily vlog. So. I want to record my laptop the day we vlog, but I'm like, no. Uh, everybody's got a GoPro, and I'm like, should I get one? Like, you know, I don't know, but, um, yeah. I don't know if I should get a GoPro and, like, for the guy, for a new morning show or something, and, like, go around and, like, you know, that'd be pretty interesting, but. Yeah, at the same time, where am I going to find time to do that? I'm going to high school, and, you know, that's going to be a whole lot harder. Uh, I get out earlier, but I got more homework, you know, so, disadvantage, <laughs> sort of, I would say. Uh, you're not getting done with your homework till like, 4 o'clock or so. Ah, uh, did I get sunburned right there? I think I did, I don't know. Yeah, I think I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, that was, like, mild sunburn right there. Ah, anyways. The only time it hurts was when I, you know, pressed down on it, so I, I was just doing this, and I went like this, and I scratched my shoulder, and I was like, ow, it hurts, <laughs> and then I felt the other side, and, yeah, I got a little bit of sunburn, um, probably when I went swimming, uh, on Tuesday, but anyways, uh, I went swimming on Tuesday during the day, so probably got sunburn during then, uh, that's why you should wear sunscreen, yeah, I'm not that smart, so, I don't wear sunscreen all the time, but, um, I try to tend to get my daily vlogs to like 10 minutes, uh, I don't want to go over like 15, so yeah, <laughs> cause then I just bore people out with just crap, you know, it's like, but anyways, um, oh, these are my prize possessions up here, I got a couple prize possessions, that is, I don't know if you can see the writing, like right in there, that is Ric Flair's autograph, it's Ric Flair's autograph, and that's, there, I don't know if y'all can see. It says special guest, Nature Boy Ric Flair. And I had no idea who he was the time that I got his autograph. I was like, you know, okay. <laughs> I, I heard about him, I was like, he's a wrestler. And I, I, and I looked him up, and he was from WWE, and I was like, wow, he, should be, he must be pretty good. I printed out this photo. <laughs> this is back in 2010. So... And this, I got an autograph from him. Uh, it's hard to see. That's the one thing I hate. And he signed something with my mom, so she can't find it anymore. That's what, I was like, no, you know. I was like, that's an autograph. You freaking ridiculous. But um, yeah, that's a pretty good price position. I also, I also have this over here. A. I don't want to take it off the wall. Uh, the frame's going to come off of it. But that is a... Right there, that's a Kofi Kingston autograph. 
It's Kofi Kingston autograph. So, yeah. My favorite wrestler is Kofi Kingston. I don't know why. Um, he has the agility and everything, and I just, like, I don't know. That trouble of paradise gets me moving, you know? I'm like, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Kofi, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't consider him a jobber, because jobbers usually are people who haven't won, like, good championships. Kofi, I th hasn't he been the United States champion? Anyways, he's been, like, a former WWE Tag Team champion. He's been, like, three-time Intercontinental champion. I wouldn't call him really a jobber. Um, he sort of is a jobber now, but, like, Zack Ryder, he's, like, a former U.S. champion. And I think it's a Tag Team champion, former U.S. Former Tag Team champion, that's it. I mean, Kofi's, like, former... Yeah, he was United States champion, I think. Uh, didn't he win it from Sheamus? At Extreme Rules 2011? Then he put him to the table. Yeah, I think that was it. But uh looks like former US champion, three time Intercontinental champion, former WWE tag team champion with Evan Bourne and R Truth. So yeah. Uh I would say he's not really a jobber, but um yeah. Ric Flair is like he, he two time Hall of Famer and I have his autograph. That's something to be proud about. I got it at a there was a new car dealership opening up, like right down the road. And, you know, they uh said, yeah, uh, it was, it's called Scotland Motors, and because we're, we're, my county is called Scotland County, so it's Scotland Motors, uh, and, uh, they had Ric Flair there, you know, to promote everything, so, uh, don't know how much money that costs, you know, to book Ric Flair, holy crap, but, yeah, um, that, I think that was pretty awesome, they had the, they had, like, the radio station there and everything, it's only, like, five minutes from our house. And they're still open to this day, so. It's 2014, four years ago, I was meeting Ric Flair. Uh, actually shook his hand, actually met him and everything. I shook Edge's hand before. Um, I didn't get his, it was at a uh, SmackDown event in Charlotte. Um, he came around and like shook everybody's hand after a match, and he shook my hand, and I was like, ah, you know. Uh. But yeah, I shook Ric Flair's hand, got his autograph. I, I was freaking nervous. And I looked through the window and I was like, holy crap, that's Ric Flair. <laughs> you know, I saw Ric Flair standing there and I was like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, but for some reason, he's from Charlotte, you know. <laughs> for some reason, I mean, for some reason, I feel like I know him. Like, because he's from North Carolina. And, uh, you know, we're in North Carolina. So it, I don't think it was really that far because I don't think he's wrestling anymore. So he probably sits at home and like waits for bookings. And it only took him a couple hours to get here. We saw his limousine pull up as well into the place. And I was like, holy crap, you know? You got a good limousine. And I think it was like a Hummer limousine or something. I've rode in one of those before. But anyways, um, probably, uh, this has probably been, you know, that was probably a good experience. Uh, me and Ric Flair and all. Uh, Kofi's autograph uh, is amazing. I just got to say, uh... I always hang that above there, and that's Kofi's autograph, that's Rick's player's autograph. Um, if I meet anybody else, I get their autograph, you know. Um, I I can't remember, uh, I forget. Uh, nah, I forget, never mind. Uh, I was thinking of something, and I was like, I can't remember what it is now, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, the autographs I want to get from people are. I think I want. I think I'd like to get Sin Cara's autograph. Uh, I'd love to get. Um, what's his name? I'm trying to think of his name. Um, I can't remember it right now, but uh, off the top of my head, uh, he's a former WWE superstar, and he. Uh, I think it was his name. Um. I can't remember, anyways. Uh, but I, I, I Ted Biasi, that's it. Ted Junior, Ted Biasi. Or uh, I like to get both of those, I guess. Uh, for some reason, I like to get all the, you know, theirs. Um, but the really fun part is when you see like the jobber superstars there. It feels so awesome because you know at every event you're gonna see major superstars and I'm like, yay, you know they're in action, hooray. But when you see a jobber, or somebody it's like, oh, you know. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just like, uh, I saw, I, I've seen, uh, Justin Gabriel, uh, if you, if you watch Saturday Morning Mayhem, or Saturday Morning Slam, sorry, Saturday Morning Mayhem's BWE show, <laughs> Saturday Morning Slam, you'll have saw Justin Gabriel versus Elo Cow, 
I was at that match, and I saw the Usos vs. 3MB on that Saturday Morning Mayhem episode. Or Saturday Morning Slam episode. I need to get that right. It's Saturday Morning Slam, not Saturday Morning Mayhem. Alright? Gosh. Anyways, um, I'm about to go take a shower, and we're about to head on out to lunch. Uh, like two minutes from our house, there's like a restaurant. Uh, they got awesome BLTs, grilled cheese, they got all of this stuff, so... I'm about to go there, and it's not a fast food restaurant. It's a really nice restaurant. Uh, that I don't know. I love the, I love their food. I don't know why. I just love it. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you had a good time here. I'm speaking Irish right now. A horrible Irish accent. But anyways, I'm about I'm about to look on BW real quick and see what the heck's going on. But anyways, uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this daily blog. Me talking about superstars autographs and crap. Um, hope it entertains you. Um, but yeah, um, I don't think you all could, would care about that that often, uh, that much. Oh crap! I thought somebody left a comment on BW real quick. But anyways, um, thank you for watching. Uh, holy crap! That BW show. Um, but thank you for watching, everybody. Um, Tonight's podcast for BWE will not be live if you're watching from BWE or something. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.